Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 5 of chapter 9. Determine the distance y bar to the center of gravity of homogeneous rod. Because it's homogeneous, so the center of gravity and center of geometry, centroid, are going to be the same. The rod is one dimensional, but because it's in a 2D space, we have both x bar and y bar. x bar is x tilde dl for a one-dimensional bar over dl and y bar is y tilde dl over dl the problem is asking for only y bar but the procedure is the same if you want to find x bar as well our first task is to find the differential element so this is the differential element I'm gonna select differential element is usually a small but for just drawing purposes, I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. So this is dl, our differential element. Our first task is to find x tilde and y tilde, which should be the center of this rectangle, which are simply x and y. The next task is to find dl. Here, if we have dl, this would be dy. And this would be dx. And according to Pythagorean theorem, dl would be a square root of dx squared plus dy squared. I want to simplify this. So I factor dx here. Then I will have 1 plus dy over dx squared. If I take dx out of the square root, I have dx, then 1 plus dy over dx. I'm just going to replace it with the equation that I have. I know y is 2 times x cubed. So if y is 2 times x cubed, dy over dx, if we take a derivative with respect to x, would be simply 6x. And then here in this equation, I have 6x squared, so 36x squared. So I found dl, and I found x tilde and y tilde, so I can write my equation. So y bar is y tilde dl over dl. dl is 1 plus 36x squared dx and x is changing from 0 to 1 meter and then y tilde simply would be y which is 2x cubed times dl 1 plus 36x squared dx so we need to solve this integral but solving this integral using hand calculations is very challenging. That's why we are using numerical approaches. There are many different numerical approaches for, for integration, but the best one is Gaussian quadrature, which is out of the scope of this, uh, this topic. But if you want to, you can use MATLAB to find integration. And the function for MATLAB for integration is simply int. You put in your function here, whatever function you have, comma, and then with respect to let's say x and it gives you the value and then you have to define your symbols first but in general in terms of aesthetics as fine as as long as we find dl and x tilde and y tilde we have the solution 